administration unsuccessfully try to avoid drumming up the past once in the White House. The paper citing mounting pressure on Mr. Obama to prosecute Bush administration officials for harsh interrogation techniques. Now former CIA director Peter Gross is weighing in, warning Washington to keep its eye on the ball and not to put politics ahead of national security. Here to discuss this are Congressman Joe Stesick of Pennsylvania and Charles Bustani of Louisiana. Thank you guys for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank Good you. to be here. Thank well, let's start with, well, President Obama and the administration officials have used phrases like moving forward when it comes to the issue of investigating possible torture or harsh techniques used during the Bush years. President Obama also made it pretty clear that he does not support the prosecution of Bush-era lawyers, but that door remains open and in the hands of the Attorney General. So, many Democratic leaders have made it clear that they don't necessarily want to give up on this issue to lay it to rest and are calling for further probes. So, what are the priorities here, the motivations that we're seeing at play? Um, let's start with uh, Mr. Mr. Bustani, please. Well, first of all, a presidency of blame will not make the country safer. And what we need to do is have a thoughtful approach to the very complex problems that we're facing with national security and the economy. And so I think the president needs to exert leadership here. Thank you very much. And, and certainly we, we want to get Mr. Sestick in as well. Yes. Um, as a Democratic congressman, I do believe we need to move forward, but I'd like to speak as having three decades in the U.S. military and heading the Navy's anti-terrorism unit after 9-11. I learned there that I operated under a compact with U.S. citizens, that I was responsible for operating in war under the rules of law, but I would also be held accountable for my actions. These memos that have been released make it obvious to some that some accountability is called for. However, I strongly believe that the two branches that might do it, Congress and the executive branch, are too politicized and they will make it appear as though we're criminalizing normal authorization of policy decisions made in the normal channels. Therefore, what we must do is two things. One, we should pass over to the third branch under our Constitution, the judiciary branch, the evidence that is there, potentially with a special counsel, to see if those who designed these laws that might have broken the law should have criminal acts takes against them. Second, like we did with the church committee after the CIA abuses of assassinations in the early 70s, but Congress can't do this, we're not legitimate enough, we're not nonpartisan enough, is established under some judges a commission that very, with real targets and very limited giving immunity to those that come forward, learn why. Why did our intelligence have to go to these means and normal intelligence gathering wasn't sufficient? Why did Congress itself fail to give the oversight required? I come to that because in the Navy, when we had an aircraft accident, we did two investigations. One, did a court-martial need to be taken care of because of egregious wrongs? Second, giving immunity to see what can we learn from it to be better. Congressman, but then we need thank to be about you so going much. Forward. I do want to give Congressman Bustani a chance there because you're, you're talking about moving things to the judicial branch, continuing with our probe to get answers. Um, Congressman Bustani, do you think that it's politics here is getting in the way, that the probe should be moved, that there should be a probe, and that this could possibly be getting in the way of our national security? security? Well, I do have major concerns that this will uh, hurt our national security. I want to remind everyone out there that four of our previous uh, CIA directors, as well as uh, President Obama's current CIA director, all came out against uh, releasing these memos. We need to be very cognizant of uh, making sure that we have a, a solid intelligence program that's, uh, that has proper accountability and oversight. And I would remind folks out there that Congress was informed of this program. There was full accounting of the program to the leadership in Congress in a bipartisan way. And for them to come, you know, for some to come out now and say that this is the first they've heard of it or they don't remember is a bit disingenuous. All right. Thank you very much, Congressman. I appreciate you guys for joining me today. It's a, it's a tough debate, but it certainly will go on, and we can expect another heated week in Washington. Gentlemen, thank you. Rick? Thank when you we come back.